More than 700 Ukrainian refugees had registered for the job fair. More than that even showed up today. They ranged in age from 18 to 64, and they are looking for the American dream, a job to support themselves and their families. I very, very, very like uh, country, her country, uh, and um, uh, like, um, very like a job. Olga Tenenko was among hundreds of Ukrainian refugees looking for work today at a job fair in Brooklyn as they try to rebuild their lives in America. The refugees needed to wait between six to nine months to get work permits in order to work in the U.S. Olga's husband and two children, a daughter in sixth grade, a son in tenth, are also in New York. The family fleeing the war in Ukraine. For me, uh, it's very important to provide them an opportunity to, to study in the United States, uh, to be safe, and to provide opportunity for myself to grow. More than 70 businesses participated in the job fair. TD Bank, J.P. Morgan Chase, the New York City Parks Department, and the healthcare industry, among those recruiting potential employees. We're looking for uh, nurses, registered nurses, LPNs, um, also home health aides. Uh, the reaction that we're getting is great. They really want to work. They really want, you know, uh, a chance. And, you know, I'm very happy to give them that chance. The job fair was hosted by the Edith and Karl Marx Jewish Community House in Brooklyn and the UJA Federation of New York. The skills of many of them are incredible. You just need to find the right match. There was a right match for most of those people there today. By the way, the organizations hosting the job fair also provide adult literacy courses.